Do you spend too much money? I have the perfect solution for you. My name is Julie and every January I do a no spend January. What a no spend January is, is only buying necessities. Groceries, gas, bills, mortgages, you know, the things that you cannot live without paying. What it does not include is non-necessities. So vacations, shopping outside of necessities like toiletries that you're completely out of, going out to eat, alcohol, you get the point. This is part two in my mini series of why you should do a no spend January. The second reason you should do a no spend January is for your savings goals. If you missed the first reason that you should do a no spend January, go back and watch that video. The absolute minimum amount you should have in your savings is $1,000. I know $1,000 isn't a lot to start off with, but it's a good starting ground for those that are living paycheck to paycheck and have zero in their savings. I saved $1,700 one year doing this and that alone could be your emergency fund. Sacrificing one month at a 12 months to kickstart your savings, to pay off a credit card, to save maybe for a down payment of a car, whatever it is, is well worth it. The sacrifice of not getting what you want, keyword want, not need, for 31 days will reshape the way you think about spending money, consumption, saving money, and it will give you power over your money. Right now, you may feel like your money has power over you. By doing this, you are taking control of your finances. You are taking control of your decisions. Follow me so you don't miss the next video in my series of why you should do a no spend January.